Okay. So today what I want to do is uh, create a tool for Twitch to export my uh, stats. Just export my stats, give me a daily report. So number of viewers, comments, uh, stream time, things like that. So I think the Twitch API probably has all this, so I'm gonna try to build this tool here in the next uh, hour or so. Um, let's see, do we have volume? Um, yep, we do. All right, twitchdev.twitch.tv, white build on Twitch, learn more. What is glitch? Twitch config service, new Twitch polling. Huh. Let me get some music going. How do I do that? I have a Twitch, um, a Twitch playlist here. All right, so I'm gonna play this, but oh, oh, it's too loud. up a little bit. Okay. Still too loud. So I don't even know where to start here. Um, All right, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, read that. There we go. So extensions, gesture. What is what is Twitch config service? I don't understand what this is. This is Matt's account. This is uh, Matt Auerbach. Yep. All right. This is obviously not what I need. So Twitch API export export what? It's fine. Let's try this. Exporting bits data from Twitch API to Excel. Hmm, what is, what are Twitch bits? Twitch bits. Hmm, okay, that's not what I need. Export stream data. Ah, channel analytics, this is what I want. Okay, so how do I select a time period? What stats? Average viewers, live viewers, perfect. Okay. So let's, the channel analytics page. Okay, how do I export to CSV? Stream sessions, that's what I want. All right, let's start taking some notes here. So um, what am I gonna do this in? I'll do this in Python, I think. That reminds me though, there might be Twitch. Let's go to GitHub. There could be something written for this already. Twitch export. What's it called? Um, stream sessions. Stream code sessions. Let's go back to export. Maybe we were on the right track here. Twitch export builder written go. Minecraft mod pack, nope, don't need that. Prometheus exporter for the Twitch TV API. Proof of concept, I don't wanna mess with that. Hmm. Well, 
So, channel analytics. Channel analytics. So, if I say Twitch API channel analytics, access channel analytics, yes, this is what I want. You can't obtain the analytics data through the API, July 18. A lot of the points you mentioned, viewers, views, followers, minutes, watch things can be recorded. Yeah, I know that. I don't believe you though. It, it already is in the a API. There is a dedicated endpoint for that. It's not in the documentation. So this is all August 18th. It was closed a little bit later. Did I miss anything important here? Let's look here. Twitch developer documentation. Okay. Chatbots, organizations, insights, and analytics. Extension, developer, analytics, beta. Hmm. Get extension analytics endpoint. Oh yeah, this is what I want right here. In the new Twitch API, okay. Here, yeah, I really do need to start recording this. So let's do, um, let's build this locally. So let's go to Hyper. If you haven't seen Hyper, Hyper is a um, pretty nice, I actually like it. If you're coming over from the Mac, it's a really nice uh, shell. Basically just does, uh, PowerShell or like the Windows command prompt. Uh, let me make this bigger. There we go. That's better, right? D, let's make a new one called Twitch Analytics Tool. Let's go to it. Let's open code. Let's make a new README. Let's increase the font size. It's too much. How's that? All right, I'll get it a little bigger. There you go. All right, so this is a Twitch analytics tool, and we're going to uh, sources. I'm going to take this, put it here. What's happening? Huh? I think there's a read, there's a Markdown extension that's messing with me. So let's just start with that. So analytics beta. All right, so the extension. Yeah, this is what I want. Let's put this. We'll use the extension analytics API. Example request is going to be this. Example request. Hey, Mr. Blinkenberg, how are you doing? Um, okay. So, how do we call this? I'm sure we're going to need an API key of some sort. Let's just see what happens if we don't. There's no way that would work. Okay. Um, we should go to overview first. Is it gonna make me watch something? Interactive experiences, I don't need that. Twitch API, this is what I want. Okay. You need a client ID to receive one, log to the Twitch developer dashboard, select apps, register application. All right, so app names must not include Twitch. So we're gonna do this. Log in with Twitch. I have no idea what password to use here. It's not that one. Two factor. One second. 
So if you don't have two-factor set up on all your accounts, you really should. Um, it will save you. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch away from this real quick. So I don't know if I, it's probably okay if you see my two-factor code, but just in case, you get to look at my orange notebook for a second. There you go. Let's see here, we're back. All right, cool. So this is, um, let's see. So we need to create an account first. Let's go back here. Uh, let's do a setup. Uh, example, setup. Is it this to create your, uh, and follow instructions? create your, what are we calling it, an API key, client ID, client, let's just do it this way, client ID, all right, um, so how do we create that, game developers, applications, we need to register the application, register your application into your app name, all right, so we're going to call this Twitch, no, we can't use the word Twitch, um, analytics exporter, I need a redirect URL. Enter an at name and your OAuth. So where are the users redirected after being authorized? Hmm. Does that mean I need to run a web server? Maybe so. We, this will receive the result of all client either in access. Oh uh, yeah, what you can do localhost for now. I don't like the idea of needing that web server, but we can get around that. We can use AWS S3 to do that, so I think we'll be okay. All right, so category, we'll call this a analytics tool, perfect. Analytics exporter, it's a pretty boring name, huh? Let's do that, um, we'll just keep it like that. All right. So there's that, there's that, there's that. Click create, click manage to see the client ID. All right, so I'm going to flip away again just for a second. So let's go to uh, that. Let's grab the client ID. So I'm clicking manage and I see my client ID. It's probably okay. All right, it's probably okay that you see that, but I'm gonna keep it in another file for now. So let me open that client ID and then my secret is right here. All right, cool. We'll come and then we'll get to, to, how do we get out of this? All right, let's go back to overview and we'll come back so you can see the screen. All right, so what I've done is created an application Given it a just a generic um, generic localhost redirect. Um, I've got the secret, I've got the client, so I'm pretty close to being able to make a call, I would bet. Sample code. So this gets the I don't care about that. Let's just see what happens though. Does Windows have curl? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it does. Let's try this. I love you, Windows 10. I hope you have curl. Um, let's do it in one line, though. And then come back here to this. Could not resolve host. It's not the host. Let's just go to Ubuntu. Grab this code again. All right, Ubuntu. So, what's this look like? Unauthorized must provide a valid client ID. All right. Um, go back here, push developers. I'm gonna switch away for just a second to see what happens if I click this. All right, good. So I click the manage button and it gets to my client ID. 
I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to Ubuntu. I'm going to curl h client id. I'm gonna paste that. That's mine. Uh, dash x get. And I'm gonna get this https api twitch tv helix streams game id equals three three two one four. All right, cool. Getting data. So I want to copy this code and just paste it as sample code in our readme. So, oh no, what have I done? There we go. Let's close this. I don't need that. And I don't need that. I'll save that. Okay. Um, let's see, example, let's just change this, example request. There we go. So that's with my client ID. That's fine. But I want to get channel data now. So how do we get the channel data? So we go to Insights Analytics, Twitch Quarterly Insights. Get Analytics. Endpoint right here. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can do. I sure don't know what this bearer is. Authorization, authorization bearer. It's a URL that extension developers can use to download oh, reports for their extensions. I don't need that. I see what that's doing. So if you have an extension you published on Twitch, this will give you the, the analytics from that. We don't need that. Clips, we don't want to create clips. Get subscriptions, get stream tags, game tags, users. None of that looks good. Hmm. Channel analytics. Where do we see anything about channel analytics? Insights provides game and extension developers with analytics data. Device IDs. These are all the extension analytics. That makes sense now. Um, hmm. Well, let's go digging deeper. Twitch channel analytics. All right, how do I see a time period? Okay, this is what I want, but I want it automated. I want automated details on that. Export to CSV. And this looks like all the data I would love to have. Okay, let's go channel analytics. API. Access channel analytics via API. This is the one we looked at already. It's extension analytics, streams reference. Okay. So there's a new Twitchy API, apparently. We've done this, we don't care about that. We don't care about that. API guide, it's gonna make me read. 800 points per minute per user. Oh, it doesn't make sense yet. I keep following the wrong, uh, I keep going down this rabbit hole. All right, let's do this. Let's 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 check this thread out one more time. If there's something undocumented, maybe we can follow it. I'm looking to automate the process of pulling blah 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 
This seems to be for game developers rather than streamers. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, get that. After, ended at first, so it is game ID. Hmm. Okay, so if we can't do it through the API, the other way we could do it is allow a developer to download the CSV and then build a tool to import the CSV and then place it somewhere and then aggregate it with other developers so they can all see their stats at once. So let's do that for now. Not as pretty and not as fun, but still, um, still solves the problem. So let's get the channel analytics. Can't get it via the API. Wait, it's already. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's changed. Okay. So let's get rid of these confusing pages. Let's get rid of that. All right. How do we just pull our analytics and get a CSV? So the channel analytics page, let's open that. My channel analytics are going to be super low. Yeah, that's all right. So let's save this page here. Um, it's all right. I don't even know if we need that. So we're going to put old. All right. Um, that's not true either. Visit your channel analytics page. And we'll just say use your own, your Twitch username. And then what do we do? Export data. <laughs> That's a sad, isn't it? All right. Um, da, da, da. It's pretty cool, though. What tags are users filtering to find my channel? Okay, interesting. I want to export. So how do I export this? So average viewers, where's the, is there an export button I'm missing? Export data right there. Okay. So what is this link? Let's look at this link. This might be something fun we can hack with. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, sorry, control shift you. How do I look at this data? Inspect element. Export data is just, oh, it's a class, so it's just popping some JavaScript on us. That's all right. So click the export data button, and we're going to open this with code. OK, so here's the data. We get start, end, average viewers, max viewers, minutes watched, perfect. That's all I need. OK, so we want to update the readme and click the export data button under graph. OK, now we have that. Uh, so let's see, steps. Save the CSV. So we have the CSV. Let's just save it here. Um, can I just do a save as? We're going to go to D. Go into Twitch Analytics tool. And I'm going to keep that file name right there. OK. Now all we have to do is import this into a database. So. We're going to use AWS. Do we want to use SQL or NoSQL? SQL is going to be better for this data. So let's look at, um, let's get that set up. The problem is I kind of want to do everything locally for now. Do I need to install MySQL here? Yes. And I haven't done that on Windows 10 in a long time. pretty ugly. I'm just going to go straight to AWS. Oh, you know what? Blankenberger, if you're still there, what were you using? Airtables? Can I 
is an air table here? Part spreadsheet, part database, entirely flexible. Zero, what's the pricing? Zero per user per month. Records per base, attachment. So records per base, what does that mean? A record is like an, okay. So 2,000 records. Hmm. Well, that'd be kind of fun to do. Let's try it, and then if we outgrow it, then I can move it to AWS. You need to sign, let's see, let's sign with Google. There's my email address if you guys want it. Don't look at my password. Two factor. Interesting, there it goes. Yes, it's me. All right. To see and download contacts. I don't want that. Why would you want my contacts? Hmm. I don't like that. We can't do that. So let's. Let's get rid of that. Let's don't sign in with that. Sign for free. All right. Um, other. It's kind of a mix. I don't want the. I don't want that trial. Let's set up a workspace. Airtable. Uh, I'm going to skip that. Let me verify my address. So my first workspace, um, you know what? Airtable, let me go ahead and confirm this. Still not feeling comfortable with this for this project, so I'm going to bail out. I'm going to bail out, and we're going to go to AWS. Oh yeah, so if I'm using I'm using uh, this tool here two-factor on this I'm just about out of USBs without crawling under the desk to get one okay so we're in there let's do a relational database let's go with my SQL in RDS okay this will be pretty easy create a database with Aurora, that's fine. My SQL compatibility, regional is good. One writer, multiple readers, that's great. Um, depth test for now. Cluster is gonna be Twitch Analytics Tool. That's that. Okay. I don't need the R5, I need a very small one. So, DB R4 large, what is this? Uh, Aurora pricing, DB R4 X large. Yeah, I need one of these. R4 X large is 58 cents an hour, I don't need that. I need this T3 small. What's T3 medium? T3 medium, 8 cents an hour. That's fine. 
Don't create a replica for now. I'm going to do this really basic. So if you were doing this for a big production, you'd obviously want to change these. I don't care about that for now. All this looks good to me. The defaults are going to be fine. All right. So we need to set up some parameters, some security on this. So um, I need a MySQL client, client Windows 10. This is a pretty good one. Oh, but it is, it's GPL, okay. Uh, let's see, prereqs, I believe I have both of those. There's gotta be a better one by now. Heidi SQL, what's this look like? Looks like a Windows app. Man, coming from over from Mac, I'm so used to having pretty ones, so if you want going for Mac, then SQL Pro is a really good one. Um, Yeah, that's that's the best. I met the guy that made Toad. Well, I'm gonna go with SQL Workbench. It's fine. Look, this is the problem with my SQL since, especially since it was bought, that it's so heavy. Like. Just getting anywhere is ridiculous. I think I just saw it right here. There we go. Other downloads. What am I missing here? MSI installer. I want the community version. Oh, this has everything, huh? I want this one. Yeah. Got to log in with Oracle. Here's the thing, if I don't have an Oracle account, I do. Now I'm gonna have to download it. All right. So that's gonna download. While that's going, let's set up some security on the database. So that's probably in, let's see what subnet groups has. Default, parameter options. Okay, I know that option, groups, events. Databases, connectivity and security, IAM roles. Still creating the endpoint. All right, we'll let it create. Monitoring is good, login events, configuration. I think I have to wait for this tool, this endpoint to be available. I need the writer endpoint. Okay. And meanwhile, did this download? I don't remember seeing it. Oh yeah, right here. Okay, so we're gonna get SQL Workbench, and then what we're gonna do is take the data that we saw in the CSV, and we're gonna make columns for all of these. We'll make an import tool. So let's go ahead and download, I don't remember, Python, MySQL, um, actually let's do Python, CSV reader, and then Python, MySQL. Is there an ORM I need to use? SQL Alchemy. See what this looks like. Is there a GitHub? Let's go to GitHub. Pure Python MySQL client. Example. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go with that. Let's install this. Um, let's go to Hyper. Let's make a new conda create. So if you don't use virtual environments in Python, you should. Push analytics and 
we're going to call this Python. Whoa, Python is going to be three six. And this will create just a isolated environment for us in, to install dependencies in and uh, keep everything nice and clean. So it's going to confirm that you want to install all of that. I say yes. This is done. Let's launch it. All right, cool. So if I want to look at like conda env list, here are all my environments for this particular machine. So if I want to activate it, I can just do activate twitch analytics. Now we're in that pip install. Let's see, pip install pi mysql. All right, cool. And then what we want to do over here is change this to look for Twitch. We don't have it because um, I think code was open already. So let's save this. Let's close that. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I'm not sure what it downloaded. Let's reopen code. And let's see if we can change this to Twitch. There it is. So now this code environment is in our Twitch analytics. So that means it, can, it has access to the MySQL that we just downloaded. Okay, so we're so far so good. Let's go check on our endpoint for MySQL. Available, perfect. So now what do I do? Connectivity and security. I think subnet groups is what I want. Maybe not. All right, it's time to look at this. Um, AWS Aurora Connect Remote. We're not in the VPC. We're gonna do it from outside. To authenticate, that's fine, but I wanna limit it to some IP addresses though. 3306, try cluster endpoint, command line, GUI, hmm. Yeah, a DB instance and VPC access by an EC2 instance not in a VPC. Classic link through the internet. Here we go. We recommend this. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, this shouldn't work, but we're going to try this. Uh, let's go back to our endpoint. Let's go back to databases. Twitch analytics tool. Um, here's the endpoint. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public accessibility. All right. That kind of worries me. I'm going to change that in a minute. Let's just try this endpoint real quick. So I want to make a new connection, and we're going to call this Twitch. Twitch analytics database. The host name is this. Port 3306. The username was admin. Password. I'm not going to set it there. We're going to test the connection. I'm hoping it doesn't work. I'm hoping this test connection fails. It looks like it's going to. Definitely going to fail. All right. Security groups. This is what we need. So we're going to open this. We really made this angry. Good job, Oracle. Oh, you're the worst. Now you've locked up my Firefox. All right, it's failed to connect, we know that. We're gonna open the security group. We're going to go to the inbound IPs that we're gonna allow. Here we go. I'm gonna rename this to I'm gonna rename this to Twitch Analytics. Okay, DB. That's fine. And then we're gonna to go to inbound. So we're we don't want this for sure. We're gonna get rid of SSH. Um, custom. Why is that open? 
which ooh, one one two one one that doesn't look safe what is port one one two one one yeah I don't understand why that's open we're gonna just apply that all right so then we want um, 3306 from my IP address, that's it. Now let's see if we can connect. DB connections, oh, I wonder why I didn't save that. Let's try this again, Twitch. The host name is this, whoops, it's that, 3306, admin, I'm not gonna enter a password, we're gonna test that connection. There we go. And good. All right, cool. So that's that. Let's make a new database or a new table. So how do we do that in SQL Workbench? Create a new SQL tab for queries. No. This has got to be it right here. All right, no schema. No schema selected. A default schema must be set by double clicking its name in the schema list. Schemas right here, there are none. How do we make a new schema? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so the Database name itself is just going to be called Twitch Analytics. Default care set is fine. And do that. Create schema. That's. Do I need UTF-8? Um, let me go back here real quick. Default care set. Yep. Let's go with that. That that looks better. Finish. Nice. Okay, now we need a new table here. Create a table. So we'll call this analytics. And here we go. Let's bring this to the side and then let's get this and these. So all I'm doing is just trying to see the columns. And I really want. There we go. All right, column name. So we're going to call, we need a username first, right? User ID. Um, For now, it should be, let's just call, let's just have an ID column. ID, it's gonna be an int, and it should be an auto increment AI right there. The next one will be a uh, user ID. Far car is fine, I'm gonna make this 255 just in case. The next one will be start time. Um, we'll make that 255 as well. In time. Average viewers. I'm gonna do ABG viewers. So average viewers is going to be float, right? Let me see how they do it. So here, yeah. So we'll call this a float. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Average viewers, max viewers. Viewers, it's going to be an int. Okay. The given data type contains errors. The previous value is kept instead. Huh. So let's see, this has to be unique. Let's look at these. What's B? Binary. Okay. Unsigned. Fill up values for that column with zeros if it's numeric. Yeah. Should be an int. Other. The given data type contains errors. And what is G? Generated column. All right, so default expression for this is 0.0. .0. The 
default for that is zero, but why, I wanna get rid of this column, delete selected. I'm gonna change this to int. Why? The following contains errors. Are there certain types of ints? Let's try small. Let's try small int and see what happens. I'm going to change this to small int. Wow. Well, uh, I don't understand that. I can come back and change it later. Let's give it a float for now. We'll figure that out. All right. So max viewers, total views, unique views. Total views. Just for fun, I'm gonna try a small int. Nope. MySQL workbench, small int. Errors must be corrected. Minimum, minimum, minimum. Huh. All right. I'll come back and fix that one. We can do it with a, a, a SQL query. All right. Total views I'll keep at uh, float for now. And then we want to do unique views as a float. We want to do minutes watched. Minutes watched. That's a good question. What is that? Minutes watched. It's going to be an integer two, but we'll do float. Um, and then new followers, chatters, chat messages. Oops. New followers, float, chatters, float, chat messages, float, clips created. Watched probably clip views, clip views, float, add breaks, minutes, M I N U T E S, float, minutes, it's an important one here, stream, float. All right, there are columns. This is a column that needs to go away. And then let's, oh, it's NODB, that's okay, I think. Okay, there's our database, let's apply it. Create table, float default zero. Let's, what happens if I do this? Um, oh, it's tiny, does like small int require a number? Create, okay, let's try this. Uh, MySQL, go here. MySQL, alter table, um, Small int. Let's see what this query looks like. Modify, alter table price, modify ID, small int. Okay. It's almost like, I, th I think I see what happened. Let's see if we can just do this. Average viewers, max viewers. So what if I just do small int with no parentheses? That's what it was. Total views, unique views, minutes watched. New followers, chatters, clips created, clip views, ad break minutes, and minutes streamed. Is there a chance, let's, get, let's keep those in floats. There's a chance that you could have uh, fractional minutes. Clip views, all right, we're gonna keep that. And then we're gonna add some defaults here just to have some nice that everything looks good there let's apply it everything looks good unique ID ID ASCII What's an int though? It's okay. awesome so now we have that 
the following task we executed, finish. So now we have that. Let's go to, um, let's go back, let's write some Python. So let's bring back this new file, import CSV PY. All right, now we need all of those columns. So let's bring this here. Um, I think we're gonna need that pi, what was it, pi MySQL? And we'll come back to that. Header equals this, import CSV, heading headers C, columns equal, let's look this up. So we're gonna split it, right? That's all we're gonna do. Is it just split? Yeah, but it's not exactly true because we want to rename those. All right, let's. That's okay. Um, columns equals start time. Start time. So all we're doing is taking the, the the English version of the headers and mapping them to the MySQL version, the MySQL column name. All right. End time. Average viewers. Max period viewers. Total views, unique views, minutes watched. Is my music still going? Minutes watched. My music still going? I don't hear it. That's okay. Minutes watched. And it looks like it is. Um, minutes watched new followers. Shatters. It's not like that, does it? Shatters, chat messages. I'm going to keep it there for a second. Chat messages, clips created. Clip views. Go back to this. Add breaks minutes. Add breaks minutes. Um, and minutes streamed. I called that minutes streamed. And then we'll go back up here and do that. Okay. So start time, end time, AVG viewers. spelled it out. New T, new followers, chatters, chat messages. Add breaks and it's streamed. All right, cool. So we have a column map. So now, we want to take this file. I'm going to, I'm going to rename this just to be uh, analytics, analytics.csv to make that easier. We want to open Python CSV reader. There we go. Import CSV. Is that is that a built-in? Cool. All right. So we have import CSV. Good. With open, blah, blah, blah.
with open the file for for writing. I don't know what writing. I want reading. A CSV file, span reader. We're going to read it with a delimiter. For row, we're going to join. <clears throat> I bet you there's a way just to import CSV to MySQL with that. Um, Python MySQL. Should have kept up with that. Let's go back to GitHub. There we go. Let's see if there's a way to do this. Requirements installation example. We've created a table. That's fine. Import PyMySQL cursor. Connect the database. Create a new record. I don't care about that. Documentation. API reference. Connection object. Hmm. Nothing I want. Well, this is not a lot of fun uh, examples. Here we go. Let's see what they have here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab this. We're going to connect cursor, select blah. All right. That just does a select, though. I'm going to. To read, let's go ahead and do a couple of these things. So we're gonna need that for sure. And we need this def uh, write analytics to database. And then we'll say, uh, should we make a class for this? That's okay. We'll just say file. I don't know what file's reserved for it though. Analytics CSV, let's just do that. Put that here for now, even though we're going to change that. You know what? We do need a class. All right, so let's just say uh, class writer um, class analytics. So localhost, uh, we're going to change to our endpoint. So let's get our endpoint. This is going to be, hmm. We'll do everything to the writing endpoint. That's, that's OK. Go there, grab this. So let's call this um, endpoint equals this. Username equals admin. Password equals. So what I'm going to do is set an environment variable, Python env environment variable with the password. Import OS, that's right. I'm going to call this uh, OS environment Twitch analytics database password. I like to keep my env variables pretty descriptive because if you start adding a lot of them for different projects, you're going to need to know what went where. So now we need to set that. And I'm not familiar with that in Windows. I think you have to go to the control panel, right? Set environment variable, variable. I don't want to watch a video. Set command, that's it. So Windows command line set command. Windows 10. Oh man. Set blah, 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 blah. So let's just try this. If I go to, um, do it here probably. Set, and then we're gonna call it this, equals foo. How do I do that? How do I keep that? You're just setting the current process space, right? Set X. 
Okay. So let's try something else. Let's go to the real terminal. Um, set x foo equals bar. Set x new bar something. Okay. Okay, now how do I print that? Is there a get x? Uh, sorry, get x, get echo, hmm. echo foo. Windows, get. Can I display the contents from the command line? Yada yada yada. Echo E and V path. So echo E and V foo. That didn't do it. Oh, it's PowerShell. I'm not really using PowerShell. E and V foo. Okay, that worked. And then if I go to this Python import OS OS var on foo should be bar. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Windows Python get environment variable. Variable. Press down that. Looks like it should work though. Doesn't that work? You might have to restart Windows or just restart the console. Okay, so there's a chance that if I go here and I go activate uh, Twitch Analytics Python import OS print OS environ. Foo. Yeah. I don't need print anyway. Huh. It's really weird. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, wait. Wait. Get E and V. Let's try that. Oh, I also didn't use. Hold on. In five wrong. F O O. Okay. OS dot get E and V F O O. Path foo. So, what is the difference between get in V and environ? It's not callable, you need to do brackets. Wow, that's really weird. Key error, so it's just not seeing it. But if I do, but PowerShell says it exists. Envy foo is bar. Oh, why do you have to make it so complicated, Windows?
Okay, we're gonna figure it out. So, OS did fire on Python Windows. How to read Windows and variable? Yes, environment variable. It says to use git in v. And I value none if it doesn't. So that's what that means. Um, I have a feeling that something is a little bit wacky with uh, with conda. So let's deactivate. Let's go to Python. Actually, before we do that, can we do it this in PowerShell? Python. All right. So let's do uh, import os os environ foo capital F O O not callable in brackets. Bar. So it works in PowerShell. Okay. Why doesn't it work in just Python and the other, though? So let's go Python here. Import OS. OS environ bracket foo bracket. Nothing. It might be because I set it in PowerShell. It's okay. Let's try this. Uh, Windows 10. Windows 10. Set environment variable. Variable command line. Don't let Google fix that mistake. All right, how to. Dowd and Associates. Dowd. Teach me Dowd. Set. Windows PowerShell. I don't want PowerShell though. So, set. List all. Set right here. Command prompt. Set X. Easy to cert. Okay, so I'm going to do exit. Set x foo bar. Success. Python. Import os os environ foo. User variables. will be available in subsequent command prompts. Okay, so let's open another one. Uh, Python, import OS, OS environ, foo, not bop, foo, bar. So if I go back here and I close this, and I open it again, Python, Import OS, OS, Byron, foo. OS dot get in V, foo. Nada. All right, so we're still not getting it, but what's the difference between a system variable and a user variable? So we could do it like this with slash m. Let's try that. Probably need PowerShell, right? Open an administrator command prompt in Windows. All right, cmd, run as administrator. Yes. So let's try this. Set x foo bar slash m. All right, let's go back to this. It shouldn't work. It doesn't. That's okay. Exit that. I'm going to make a new terminal. Python import OS, OS environ, foo. Man, that is really tricky. Okay, so the other thing we can do is use AWS secrets. That's what it's called. Secrets Manager. Seems like a, a roundabout way to get there. How long has this stream been? I don't even know how to tell. Um, let's go for another 30 minutes. I'm going to get closer than I am. Okay.
So we can use Secrets Manager to do this. So store a new secret. Credentials for RDS database. Yeah. All right. Admin. And here's the password. The fault encryption key is fine. This guy right here. Wait, do I want to do it this way? Secret key value password. Secret key and value. Okay. Twitch analytic analytics password. And then if I add this and add a row, will you be able to see that? You will be able to see that. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh switch away for a second. Here you can look at my pretty orange deal. Alright, so I'm typing my password for that. I'm going to hit next. Secret name description. Alright, so this is Twitch Analytics password. I think you can see this now. Access to MySQL prod. Yep. So I'm going to switch wages for a second. I'm still not sure if it's going to show my password. Next, disable automatic rotation. Twitch Analytics password is a secret name. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, so I'm going to show you what it did. So it's given me the chance to store the new secret. And in doing that, and it gives me some sample codes. We'll take this Python code. We'll take this Python code here. Use this as a snippet in your app. Okay. And then I'm going to switch away one more time before I hit store. All right. Looks like we're good. So I hit store and this is what we see, Twitch Analytics password, last retrieve none, and then we're gonna go to, let's do one more thing, store a new secret, test password, we're gonna call this that, test password, password is the password, next, uh, temp for testing, delete me, next, Disable rotation, sample code I already have, store. All right, so we're gonna play with this one, temp testing. This is cool, I haven't used Secret Manager before. So let's do, hmm. Let's comment this out for now. Let's see what this code does. Oh, look at this code. All right, so we need Boto3, base64, that. Bring this up here. I don't have Boto3 installed yet on in this environment. So let's go to command prompt. Let's exit this. Let's make it a little bigger. Can we do that? Nope. Oh well. I'm just doing a uh, activate Twitch analytics so I can activate the environment. And then I'm doing a pip install Boto3. All right. So we have all that. Uh, use this code snippet if you need more information. All right, we're going to get rid of this. We understand what's going on there. Get secret. We're going to call this, um, I've already forgotten the name, temp testing. TMP testing. Create a secrets manager client. All right, so create a client. Region name is US East 1. That's good. In this sample, we only handle the specific exceptions for that. Okay, that's cool. We're going to try to get it. We get an error, it's gonna say, oh, these errors happened. Else, here's the secret, decode the binary secret. Oh, it's a string, that's fine. Your code goes here, okay. Print, here's the secret. And it should be password. So I save that, let's try to run it. New terminal, we're going to do uh, Python, import csv.py. 
here. Twitch database password. Where is that? Oh, yeah. I didn't call this. Get secret. Get secret. This should print. Here's a secret password. Awesome. Okay. So we just need to change one little thing. That would be test password. That's okay. Hmm. Where did it oh, it's an object. So we just need to do this. secret test password is that it's coming as a stream so let's just do this import JSON and then we'll say uh, we'll say uh, secret equals JSON uh, loads secret and we want test password All right, we understand how that works now. That's really cool. So let's do, let's go back to this. This font is so big, it's hard for me to see it. Can you still see it? Okay, can't really see it. I'll blow it up. I can live with it. All right. So what we're doing is we're going to, username is gonna stay just like that. Um, Secret equals get secret. Nah, I don't like that. Username and then password equals get database password. All right, so we'll call this get database password. I don't think that's gonna work because this method needs to be. All right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna call a new file called utils. And then we're just gonna say uh, def get database. We'll keep the code kind of clean here. Get database password and key. All right. So from Utils import get database. Let's just get everything. I might need everything. And then right here it's gonna be utils got get database password and we'll call this Twitch Analytics password. Alright, so there's the password. Now let's go take this code over there. this delete this all right so twitch analytics password us east one boto three let's import boto three it should already be imported because uh, all right session session client just one second i'm going to respond to this text So client is that, service name secrets manager. Region is good. We're gonna try, we're gonna get this secret name right there, it's good. Um, key equals that, and we're gonna change this to key, just in case we do it for like a production database versus a test database. 
All right, so there's a key. Actually, let's just call it a secret name. And we're going to come back here to this, and uh, import CSV is going to say endpoint admin password is utils. There we go. All right. Try accept. We have our secret, we're just going to return, return the secret. There we go. So now we should be able to connect. So we have this. Let's have let's uncomment this. I think we can get to a pretty good stopping point here in the next 20 minutes. All right, so analytics is a new class. We're going to create an analytics class. We're going to rename this to analytics. Uh, that's not right. Analytics tool. Okay, so we're going to con create a connection. <clears throat> the user is going to be username, password, and endpoint. All right, so host equals endpoint. Port is fine. Username, password is password. Database is MySQL. Write analytics. Don't quite need this yet. I just wonder if this is a read. Read, uh, get all, how about this, get all. So we have a new cursor, select all from, and what do we call this database? I forgot already. We call this Twitch Analytics is the database and Analytics is that. Um, analytics, the database is called Twitch Analytics. Twitch Analytics. Select all from analytics, print the description for that, print that, that's that. Okay, we're pretty close. Let's see if this works. Um, we need a main, so uh, if name equals main, um, analytics equals analytics, and we want to So self.connection equals connection. Hmm, I don't know if that's right. Self-connection equals self-connection. That doesn't sound right. If I just do that, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna blow up? Analytics. Get all. Let's see what happens here. I don't think that's going to work, but we're going to try it. Python um, analytics tool. I really should rename this to a lowercase underscore. All right. Analytics tool.py. Utils is not defined. Utils is right there. Analytics tools right there from utils import. Huh. I'd have to do this maybe. Let's try that. No module name. I think I have to add a. Um, let's see. Python 3 include file. This worked. Include a module. Import FIBO, yeah. So FIBO PY in the current directory, and then we should be able to do that. Okay, let's just go back here then. Utils.py and import utils. JSON is not defined. Pip install. Oh, I saw one other issue right here. It's not test password. It's, um, let's see, secrets manager and Twitch analytics password. One second.
right, let's see. Temp testing, secret name is temp testing. So this secret name is just that. I think I need to go here. All right. Oh, cannot install JSON. Hmm, Python. Install JSON. Several different solutions. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, the native JSON library. What's wrong with that? Python import JSON. It's really weird. Let me just try something real quick. See if this works. Python analytics tool. The name JSON. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay. I want to make sure I'm not printing this out. Secret return secret. Okay. All right, good. Now let's do this. Oops. Go. We should see init takes self. All right. Here's what we do. Self connection equals none. And then we go self dot connection equals that. Um, cursor equals that. Self connection cursor. For rolling cursor. Cursor close. Self. There we go. This should work. Get all. Get all self and CSV. So I need that. None type has no attribute cursor. Select all from analytics. I'm just going to try something here. Let's change out the password and see if we get a different error. Nope. And then let's just do one thing before we do this. Print endpoint um, and username for sure. Let's see if we're even getting those. Let's just do a, uh, let's just exit. Print endpoint username, sys.exit. What happens here? It's so hard. I'm going to have to do this. I know you can't see that, but it's hard for me to uh, see what's going on. So we're going to clear this off. Gonna run this again. So none type has we're not even printing the username and password. Get all. Oh, we don't even have a oh, I see what's happening. Okay. So we're not even making the connection yet. So let's do this. Connection is equals that. I'm going to move this here just for now. See what happens. All right, cool. So there's the cursor. We're just not getting a connection <clears throat> right
right here. Username and password work great. Okay. Let's see. We're going to make a method called um, connect. So con equals none. Let's do this. None and then get all. It's going to first say self.con equals connection. I really think I can just do this here. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what happens if this... There we go. Okay. It's a perfect place to stop. So what we've done is created a database that holds the, um, the analytics for our stream time, our viewers, our chat minutes, messages, viewers, minutes watched, all that. We've created a database for that. We're able to connect to the database. The next step will be to import this file into the database and then read it. That's all we want to do for now. Okay, um, I'll continue this again later. Thanks for watching and have a good day.